Hey friends, does this sound familiar? So you want to do some elite hacking, Good. you know, real cutting edge stuff. And so naturally, you ready yourself. You waste no time, you fire up Cali. You generate one mean EXE payload using MSF Yikes. Venom. Hell, you even name it something clever, like resume.exe, flexing your leaf muscles extra hard as okay. you go. And so you spin up your Windows VM, you know, the poor hapless victim. You transfer the payload over, you get your handler ready, and then, of course, the only thing left to do is run that sweet old payload. I mean, that's what you do, right? Right? Ah, no, of course. I left out one tiny little but important detail. I say, hold up, wait a minute. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, uh, pretty lucky. <laughs> right before running the actual payload, you also make sure to switch off real-time protection. Naughty, naughty. Because of, of course, course, as we all know, sneaking an off-the-shelf stock MSA Venom payload past Defender is kinda like... You shall not pass! So here's the thing, friends. Obviously, switching off Defender when we start out just getting a handle on the basics of payload generation, transfer, execution, etc. is great. In the beginning, we just want to be able to practice. Even if it's not that representative of the environments we'll eventually actually be attacking. But of course, at some point, if it is our intention to advance in this domain, we have to take the training wheels off. And that's exactly what this course intends to do. I hope to take you on a long and epic journey to understand what goes on under the hood of a payload, meaning what is it actually doing. We'll peek inside the proverbial black box so that once you understand the essential components of payloads, you are then also able to go ahead and either create your own or customize existing ones in order to serve your specific goals. Whereas MSA Venom is about convenience, what I'm about to show you is about control. We're going to do a deep dive into the rabbit hole of creating custom C-sharp backdoors. We'll look at a variety of shellcode insertions, including byte array versus string method. We're going to look at payloads that are hard-coded versus remotely hosted versus encrypted and provided as command line arguments. We're going to explore a whole variety of obfuscation techniques using different encoding and encryption mechanics. We'll look at crafting custom stagers, as well as comparing reverse TCP and reverse HTTPS callbacks. We're going to look at payloads that leverage different living of the land techniques. We're going to learn how to leverage the .NET framework to essentially use PowerShell without actually running PowerShell.exe. We're going to look at different DLL injections. We're going to look at hiding payloads in image files. We're going to look at parent process spoofing. And we're going to look at a whole variety of different things, including extension methods, packing, intermediate language, just-in-time compilation, archiving, polymorphisms, and much, much more. So as I've already mentioned, in this course, we're going to be using C Sharp. The good news is I am going to make it perfectly suitable for beginners. However, I will expect you to understand the basic building blocks of programming, if not from C-sharp, then any other language. You know, you'll need to know at least what a variable, an operator, a conditional, a loop, a function is, etc. You should also have some idea of what object-oriented programming is and how this paradigm functions on the whole. Now, if you have no understanding of the basic concepts of programming nor object-oriented programming, I do encourage you to take a moment, visit Free Code Academy on YouTube, and watch a short introductory video on C-sharp and object-oriented programming. Now, for convenience sake, I'll link a course on just these two subjects right at the top of the description. And for any more quote-unquote intermediate C-sharp programming concepts, I will actually be dedicating specific videos to breaking them down so that during the journey of this course, we'll not only be learning cybersecurity, but we'll also be improving our C-sharp skills. And for those of you that didn't know, at least in 2024 and probably for the next few years, if you are attacking Windows systems, then C Sharp is really where it's at right now. Now I'm just going to spend a quick minute explaining to you what I'll be using in terms of setup for this course. Of course, you're free to follow this or if you're happy doing something else because you know what you're doing, then by all means. 
So I'll be using Kali for offensive purposes, but you can really use any distro as long as you have access to the Metasploit framework. There will also be times that we'll be using Netcat, but that's pretty much installed on every single Linux distro as far as I'm aware. And then later on towards the end, during a few modules, we'll actually be using Empire. We'll actually be using the new Empire from BC Security, but I'll lead you through exactly how to install it since it doesn't really even come installed on Kali. And then in terms of our victim system, we'll be running a Windows 10 64-bit with MS Defender fully disabled. Now I'm not gonna go through how to do this. The good news is I've already created a video on exactly this topic and you can find the link right at the top of the description. And then in that same vein, we'll be running pretty much the exact same VM, another Windows 10 64-bit as a victim, but for this one, we won't be turning Defender off. Because guess what? As we advance in this course, we will actually be testing the payloads we create against a fully active Defender system to see whether we're on the right track. Isn't that a daisy? And that's it friends, we're gonna get to crafting our first payload immediately in the next video. I'll be publishing it very shortly, so keep an eye out for it, because it'll be awesome. Now if you want to make sure you don't miss it, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if not, all good. Until next time, peace out.